This is the packaging that one of the pumps came in. We just keep it in there to keep it protected. Now everybody's rate and doses are going to be different. So what, what are you on right now? 83 is um, the rate. And I think it's um, 23 nanograms. You got a pump plan on here. I know. That's right, we didn't put a label on that one yet. Well, we're not going to get all that out. You can look at it and ask again. So we have labels, just in case anything ever happens, hospitals know exactly what's in here and how much. So I'm on um, 83 milliliters per 24 hours and 23 nanograms per minute. There you go. And we'll show you the bag, the stylish bag that she wears and everything. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's like I said, you know, you, a lot of people make fun of fanny packs, whatever, but you know, you never know what people are going through. So, of course, I've never really made fun of anybody like that anyway, because, you know, obviously we're not like that. But we'll show you what it looks like in a minute. So you can use a coin, a nickel or a quarter to twist this, to open it. This comes off. That's when you can take the blue cap off of this. These are the feet. And it hooks into here. Then you can push down and lock it. And you press on. So normally we would have our label already on this and everything, um, but we did we just used the one we made tonight. But we'll put a label on just like the other one was. You'll see. I'm sure you already saw, but that's important. Always make sure you do. It. Uh, you have like to have I said, label. yeah, we we would have done it, but we were just trying to get this video so we can show you. So. So when you turn it on, it goes to stopped. Press next. It tells you the reservoir volume is 100. That's how much is in here right now. Next, it tells you what my rate is, and I'm at 83. You can go up and down if you need to and press enter to save it. Next is given. It hasn't given me any yet, so it's at zero. Air detector off. You don't need the alarm on unless you prefer it on. And the same with this alarm. Press next and it goes back to stop. So we want the medicine to go, it's only to this point so far. We need it to go all the way through. So you press prime and hold it in. You have to unlock this first. And hold it in. And then for some reason it never does it on the first time. You let go, you press again and hold it down and you can hear it running. Then it stopped, let go, press it again, hold it in. and watch for it to come out here. And there's all the bubbles, oh, the last of the bubbles. Yeah, we were told just to let it run until it comes out of the cap. And press it one more time, let go and press it and hold it in. And there it spills out. So now we're gonna change from this pump, actually, sorry, the one I'm using right now from this one to the new cassette that's full. So this one's ready to go. So with this one, you just press stop, hold it in. It says stopped. And then since we are changing the whole thing, it's going to go all the way 
to this part. That's where it's going to connect. So I'll go ahead and take this, wipe it off, get that medicine off of there with the alcohol wipe because you don't want it on your hands. You want this in here too, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So this you have to be pretty, pretty quick with because you don't want to go too long without the medicine going through. So, so this is the um, the Q site tip. It is this part right here. Mm -hmm. So I opened it and you, this has a little rubber gasket like. And you push it on there. It's already sterile so you don't need to clean that. And then you take the bloom cap off. Clip this. I can't get that, you did it. Right. Okay, so you just want to, you just want to hold obviously your line here, and then hold it very tight, and then just spin, spin. Make sure you've got a clamp off here too. That's one thing you definitely want to make sure of. Okay, just throw it to the side. So we're going to clean this again in case we touched it. And then we're going to clean this. This is not a two-person job, but it makes it easy when you have two people. And then we're going to tighten it and then unclamp. And then on the pump. So on the pump, since we're ready, press start, hold it in. Now it should say run. And it said 97.7 .7 because we primed the tubing. All right, so it's no longer at 100. It's now at... The volume in the reservoir is no longer at 100, it's at 97 since we had to prime this. So it says run, so it's good to go. Um, so this one I'm going to take off. And then this one, this is the nice little pack. Put it in there. So just so you know, they, I believe that they sell those packs that you can buy them on Etsy, is that right? Uh, I'm not sure. That's what the nurse said. You can buy them on Etsy and you can buy them on eBay. But for these pumps, you just got to look at whatever pump you have. I think hers is, is that CAD Legacy one? That mm -hmm. So, but she doesn't care about that because the That's benefit she's is. getting, you know, the benefit she's getting from it helps. So it doesn't really matter. And really you can't see the... Um. Fanny bag anyway. No, I just... So now I can put it in, now that I ran it under my shirt. So then I just circle this up, round it up. So guys, there you have it. Uh, I would say it's easy to cut and dry, but it takes some getting used to, obviously. Um, it's like anything else, you know. Just, it is overwhelming. Um, we do have to change the batteries. When we change the batteries, uh, the next time, um, I will do another video on that. It's not going to be a huge video, but it's just something that we do that we found that helps us a lot, so you don't get all the batteries confused and everything. And uh, if you made it this far, I do appreciate it. Give me that uh, thumbs up and uh, hit the bell button, and there will be some more videos between her and I. Um, she's getting more used to YouTube now, thank God, mm -hmm. and we'll be doing some more videos together, right? We'll see. It, yeah, it means yes. And um, so, yeah, if you uh, like what you see here, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, um, like I said, we're not doctors by any means. We're not acting like we know it all or anything. We just know what helps us, and we wanted to show you guys uh, what we go through. Um, 
some of the things we go through rather and uh, how easy it is um, if, you know you get your whole family involved you know you can really zip through and make a bunch of these medicines at a time guys if you like what you see like and subscribe god bless and we'll see you on the next one have a great day